This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Hey everybody, so welcome back to Coder. Let's do another one, eh? Oh, why not? Why not? Fucking, let's get three in. Okay. We're keeping this in. A little okay, inside okay, baseball yeah. for you guys, little, the way little, we record little, these. Yeah. The way, we, the way we record these, we just play for a while. Every now and then, somebody notices it's time to stop the episode. And we stop the episode, and we all kind of stare into the middle distance for a while and wait for somebody to say that they do or don't want to record another. <laughs> yeah, usually we get, like, two in, but when we record KOTOR, we also record World of Horrors as well, typically. Oh, that, uh, that could guard... I missed him with the second thermal detonator there. Oh, we think about you're not gonna. <laughs> we think about doing this show is uh, you don't really know you've done too many episodes for one night until halfway through the episode that was one too many. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Just to keep you, uh, you know, uh, in in the loop, just to let you guys know like what we're doing and how we're doing, we will not keep it a secret if we've had too much. This <laughs> we will yeah, definitely we'll just, let you know. We'll just uh, we'll just come right out with it. Like, oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> this was <laughs> my eyes were bigger than my stomach. I think I am... that is too much Kotor for one day. <laughs> we have ceased to provide quality content, if ever we did to begin with. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, my posture has changed since the first episode. <laughs> I, I'm like I'm I'm like chilling, like I'm in relax mode. <laughs> I think those the, my if you if you listen closely, you might be able to hear the yapping of a shitty little chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> Close my windows real quick. Oh man, this is the most like are, you guys are you guys can identify with us now. We're just like you. We wear pants. I'm not wearing pants right now, actually. I am, I but got... only because I just went downstairs to get the mail. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at I'm this. This recording. is, man. This is the most like. This is some like. This is this goes beyond inside baseball. This is like behind the scenes. This is yeah. like. This is like making of. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to our lives. What now? You know something about me? Like uh, Jeff Winger said on Community, I've got a house I can't afford and a dog that makes me angry. <laughs> I am. I am actually wearing pants. I lied about that. Ah. Well, they're shorts, so they're not really pants. Okay. They're half. They're half pants. Half pants. I have decided to wear my half pants today. To Pantlets. be To be clear to uh to my viewers, I love all of all of the house pets. They're really they're really my girlfriend's pets. I would probably not have them if I were alone. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're delightful animals. It just happens that they make me very angry all the time, which is the main reason I wouldn't have them if uh, left to my own druthers. <laughs> but they are delightful, wonderful creatures, and they have they have very nice lives. It's just me who has a bad life, being angry all the time about the various animals that live in my home. Oh, there was another guy around the corner that I didn't notice. Oh. It's okay. Oh I'm no, Candorous. Hold on. There we go. It's it's okay, Alex. Like this is the thing, right? Oh Jesus. Guy, how come you guys aren't getting up? Oh, they will eventually. Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> are you okay? Oh, there's an access like, card. Like definitely, every time we throw a grenade. Our companions just drop dead and gas are the room in the after. spice lab. <laughs> yes, please. Why is there gas? Oh, I guess this is a criminal hideout. All of those oh, no! Rodians, those Rodians were all wearing their space suits, ready to die <laughs> in space. And ironically, if they had just put on their helmets, they would all be fine now. <laughs> yeah, but no. It's and that's the room we're standing in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, any? You guys got any more uh, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff you want to share? 
I've been uh, having vivid hallucinations for the last 48 hours. Wow. <laughs> haven't been sleeping well, huh? No, I, uh, I, they haven't been this bad since college, but I see, like, um, like skittering shapes of, like, rats and things. The very Lovecraftian hallucinations of, like, small creatures. They're definitely not real. There's no actual rodents in the house. I had several really, really visible hallucinations of a white cat, and our house cat is black. So it's, it's, been, it's been not great. It hasn't been ideal. What do you think is preventing you from sleeping? Uh, just years of bad living and ongoing bad choices. Alright, alright. Well, I hope you get that fixed up. I've actually, uh, uh, I just finished up my uh, last week at work before a lengthy vacation. I've got the, la the next uh, nine days Thank off. You. Oh, but right, no you were supposed to come like and see, uh, I don't know see me. Yeah, that's that's some more inside, uh, <laughs> yeah. inside scoop into our personal lives. As you guys know, I used to live in Halifax uh, with Matt. Luke used to live there as well. Luke and I both uh, live and work in Edmonton, and I was going to fly back to Nova Scotia this week. But the world is ending. If yeah. you're listening to this in the future, years ago or months ago, the world almost ended because of a giant virus. I'll load them onto your data pad now. <laughs> you can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Thousands. It's actually a regularly sized virus. It's just unusually what? successful. Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. You haven't told me yet how you style your mustache like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make the one ruin the guards. I better just kill you. <laughs> better up with. I think the reward one is very noni. What? But I, I don't have anything else. Those Ebonhawk codes are worth a fortune. Isn't that enough? Please, just let me go. There's no world where I let you go. You come with me for a reward, or you die. Like you, core slime. Core slime. I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me. Yes, you did. Yeah, that's I'm afraid thing. you did. That's the thing you don't understand about this. You did. That is exactly what you did. No, oh, I bombed him mid-roundhouse. That dude Goodness. was about to Chuck Norris me. You <laughs> exploded him into... Whoa. <laughs> like, his, his kick was propelled by the force of the explosion there. Done. This must be the room I gassed. Or maybe just it's an extra... Hey, more ion grenades. I have infinite, but I never. It never hurts to have more N no. numbers. And credits. Zal oh, uh, Zalbar's not doing so hot. Yeah, we've all taken some, huh? some damage, except for Candorus. He's doing surprisingly well. I think the reason I hallucinate cats when I hallucinate is that I hate cats the way most people hate spiders. <laughs> you have a complicated relationship with animals. Yeah, like I, like I, I believe all animals should be treated with, you know, like respect and dignity. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I try to be very kind to Lisa's pets, uh, but also like I, I just cannot abide the presence of a cat. It's like walking through cobwebs. It makes me, <laughs> makes me so upset and uncomfortable. Arnold, damn. Arnold, damn. Arnold, damn. Arnold. Disable the security Damn. system on the hangar door. Okay. Access the secu uh, Open all. Se disable disable hangar security. security. Um, <laughs> overload this terminal. <laughs> I love that that's a thing. Yeah. It's just a thing in this universe. Yeah. Every every computer terminal. Has a uh, just fucking a lightning Damn no machine. Shit. <laughs> the whole planet. It's got like a a steampunk Tesla lightning device <laughs> inside every computer. <laughs> oh damn no, it's Liz. I can't believe they're bombing everything. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. These guys oh. seem like they're from wholly different genres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I've been looking forward to killing. If I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. I'm not really afraid of thermal detonators. I happen Tell to be well familiar with the thermal detonators uh, blast Damn no shit. Now bring this whole hangar down yeah. around our ears. Please tell me more about your one thermal detonator. Please continue to mansplain thermal detonators to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I'm just going to steal everything you have. Davix purple war suit. Davix visor. Can I, uh, can I loot your corpse? No. Is is Davik still called Davik, or did his name get changed to Remains as well? Oh, it, yeah, it was Remains. Now it is just nothing, because he is no longer... <laughs> He's no longer important. Yeah. You have taken his stuff, and with them, his name. Yeah, let's <laughs> get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this... No, you know, it'd be cool if we didn't pick up our friends. <laughs> okay, so the the fat uh, star destroyer, the upset fat star destroyer, is now <laughs> going across the screen. It's a bit like if you take one of those like canvas zippered wheelie suitcases and stuff too many clothes in it. Yeah, it looks like a child's toy of a. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a hamburger. <laughs> we it's fail not... so entirely to describe those cutscenes, like. They take place in space, you know, <laughs> shot of this bullshit planet between them, and we just focus on trying to describe <laughs> how similar or dissimilar the one ship is from a Star Destroyer. Whoa! I'm down with that. Uh, oh, should we be sad we are about going this? To shoot the planet with guns. I feel like this is not like, the level that you need in order to really, really fuck a planet up, but... Like, it's they're doing a good job against the buildings. It's just, this is gonna take a long time. If only Palpatine knew you just had to shoot guns at a planet to destroy it. <laughs> Isn't that referenced in the original trilogy, though? They, they're they talking about how much how many ships it would have taken to destroy the planet. They're not necessarily, yeah. like... Well, they're astonished that the planet's been destroyed, but their immediate question is, wow, this must have taken so many ships. They sort of imply that a sufficient amount of Star Destroyers in orbit, orbit could hammer a ship to... I suppose, ha yeah, that's true. Ham ...hammer a planet to pieces. Um, the big reveal was not so much that the Death Star could destroy a planet, just that it could destroy a planet by itself, you know? Yeah, yeah. true that. So, uh, in that cutscene, we saw Terrace being bombed. Or I guess clothes. shot at. <laughs> He's in his underwear still. No. I, I wish I hadn't saved any of you. The Ebon Hawk is flying across the way. Toward a <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Quickly, you know, before we get shot out of the sky, and Melody's response is just like, why am I not alone right now? Usually by this point, I'm alone. Like, I know I need Candorus and uh, Zanzibar. Z did you tell him Zanzibar? I did. Nice. And I do it again. Nice, nice, nice. Where those fuckers at? Oh my god. It's hard to shoot things. Unless who, whoever now. invented targeting computers later on. Why does this turret not shoot grenades? <laughs> yeah. We are a little out of our element here. I love that in it, it took like a thousand years for somebody to invent a targeting computer. And a really shitty one too. Oh yeah. It's because of space magic. I'm telling you, man. That's true. That like everyone's a Jedi at this point in time, so they just don't need targeting computers. You just find yourself a Force adept to fire your turrets. Yeah. Also, there is a galaxy-spanning government called the Sith, which are distinct from the actual like fallen Jedi Sith. Yeah. But 
ru- ruled by you know dark Jedi, much in the way that the Empire Empire is. You wanna? Down to okay, there we go. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Don't care. No Don't care. Been a few months. We should be safe for Malak here. Yep. Whatever. Oh, at least. Safe. <laughs> You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Lol. The Sith would think twice before Lol. attacking down to Lol. Earth. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. They keep telling us what we need to do to be safe, but we are already safe. It's everyone else who's in danger. Uh, this is the rock and a hard place. I don't want to agree with either of them because I hate them both. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Hashtag anyone but Karth. Anyone but Karth, I guess, yeah. Recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come I disagree, Karth. It was pretty easy to witness. She appears. <laughs> so easy. Just witnessed it. I'm fine. <laughs> All those people I spared. I didn't have to. I guess the biggest challenge was keeping my eyes open because it was so boring. <laughs> also, demonstrably, uh, Mission will turn on a dime. If I give her a, a tenuous explanation as to why she should not care that zillions of people died, she might buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Okay, uh, this is the Ebon Hawk now landing on Dantooine. Yeah. It's grassy, there's a nice sunset, there's some shitty trees. You know, it's great. The Ebon yeah. Hawk looks kind of like the head of a spork. Briefly with the council. <laughs> they request an audience with you. We should go at once. <laughs> an audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chambers. Is there any way I cannot do any of this? Alright. <laughs> well, we can at least just, well, watch Bastila run off into See the See you guys later. And... Karth, you were not invited. Alright. <laughs> oh, look, the... the bumbling fuckwit protocol droids are shinier in this corner of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. I think we're out of the time Jedi again, are we? Them more often, but yeah, we are out of time. So, next episode, Dantooine. Dantooine. On Dantooine. Daniel Tooine. Thanks Daniel for tuning Tween. in again, folks. Yeah. Thanks for for adjusting your tuning knobs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing the dials on your computer monitor and listening to sort of a staticky, staticky whistling noise and ribbons of color swimming across your screen until you hear our familiar voices here at this frequency. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Stay, stay safe. I never know what that word's going to be until it comes out. (laughs) No. Bye, everyone. Bye.